Mode set. Executing. What's up, gamers? It's your boy, CDRM 1019. Welcome back to Tales of Monkey Island, beginning chapter 3, Layer of the Leviathan. I'm looking forward to this one. Uh, I mean, I'm looking forward to all of them. Checking all the settings, looking all good. Let's just get right into it. Well, so, when we last left off, uh, we were swallowed by a giant manatee, ship and all. Let's see what kind of mess Skybrush is going to be in now. It is said that we are never so vulnerable than when we trust. But paradoxically, if we cannot trust, neither can we find our heart's desire. Guybrush Treepwood, trusting in his voodoo spell, unleashes a pox on the Caribbean. He escapes from Flotsam Island to pursue his wife Elaine and to find a cure to the pox that infects them both. On the Jerkbait Islands, Guybrush finds Elaine together with his arch enemy Lechak. With deep reluctance, Guybrush trusts his wife with the former ghost pirate and seeks the cure on his own. Hunted by the lethal Morgan Laflay, Treefoot must right his wrong by finding Lai Sponja Grande. For the Pox is transforming the seas into a treacherous beast. <clears throat> and the beast is hungry. I know I say this all the time, but ooh, ominous. All right. When last we left off. Better believe it, sister. Wait, believe what? What? Taking you in. I'm sorry, I'm inside a manatee at the moment. Uh. Look behind you! Oh, I've heard that one before. Oh. Well, that was a stroke Great of luck. Hunter walked the bonny bounty huntress right into a trap. You have to admire her stick to itiveness. She's out cold. Good. We need to get back on the track to finding La Esponja Grande. I'm gonna go find a way out of here. Preferably through the front door. Not the, uh, <clears throat> service entrance. I'll keep an eye on Miss Lafley. If she stirs, I'll give her the old scurvy buttons. I don't want to know what that is. Yeah, I'm sure you will, Winslow. Alright. Guybrush is nothing if not a gentleman, so let's let's actually check up She's on her. Out cold, sir. I can't actually investigate her? Don't worry, sir. I've got my eye on Miss Lafay. Okay, well, we'll come back. An encampment? Talk about roughing it. Better go check it out. <clears throat> well, that's... Um, hello? Co uh, that's a coincidence. Me? What is this? An adventurer from the outside? Who, Who are, are you? you? I'm, I'm Guybrush Treepwood. I'm Mighty, Mighty Explorer. De Cava, I've been looking for you. What are you doing in here? I'm on my way to a very important artifact to be acquired for a very important woman. I hate to be the one to break this to you, but you're stuck inside of an overgrown sea mammal. You're not on your way anywhere. Heavens no! I'm not stuck! Quite the contrary! It's all part of the plan of the ocean gods. The mouth of the manatee leads me to the artifact. The seahorses led the mouth to me. Just as I freed myself from the brig of Fat Island by bribing the guard for his bootlace, stringing him up with a pulley fashioned from a stale scone, and then growing at my toenails over the course of a year in order to carefully carve them into a lock-picking kit, I, Coronado de Cava, will walk out of this beast when the time is right! And when is that? I'm on a bit of a timetable. When we arrive at the sacred manatee mating grounds! Oh boy. Mm. Well... Uh, by some stroke of luck, we found Takava, I guess. How long have you been in here? Years! The 
This journey has been even longer than expected, for the exploration is fraught with unforeseen hurdles yearning to be overcome. Mm-hmm. You made a lock-picking kit out of toenails? That's right! You didn't try the tempt the guard dog with a bone trick? Ah, that's for amateurs. Okay. Well, I have this locket. So I have this locket I'm supposed to give to you. Oh, oh my. I haven't seen this locket for some years. She's just as I remember. Where did you... What is this? Tree wood. It is I. Ooh. Yikes. Well done. You have found Coronado de Cava and are one step closer to La Sponja Grande. De Cava and his crew will prove indispensable on your quest. And while the puck spreads with every passing moment, you must tread lightly, Guybrush. Years of searching for the sponge have made De Cava unstable. He was always a bit of a sensitive soul, <coughs> so please, I implore you, do not mention me. Do not mention La Sponja. And whatever you do, do not tell him where you acquired his locket. Why? Did you get this? Who sent you? What are you doing here? Uh, all three things that I can't say to you. I, um, I, uh, the voodoo lady gave me the locket and told me to find you so I could track down La Esponja Grande for her so we could cure- She what? Mi dio, that two-timing soothsaying strumpet! Huh? La Esponja is to be mine to give to her as a gargantuan absorbent symbol of my fiery passion. I'm gone for two seconds and she's making time with a prepubescent picaroon. That's no, no, it's not like that. Jeez, no way. We're hardly even friends. Right. A friend who she gives an invaluable sentimental locket. I bet she never sends you on any quests either. Uh, no. I mean, from time to time she tells me what to do and where to go with little or no context, that but... sounds like a quest. She used to give me quests. It's not like that, Takaba. Has she ever made you a voodoo doll? No. I don't believe you! Have you held her in your arm? Uh, no. What? No! I'm married! Look! I don't see a ring, senior Librash. Ah, I left it with my other hand. I'll kill you. I'm not after the voodoo lady's heart or La Esponja Grande. Then why are you here? Um, vacation. Is that so? Yes. The honeymooning, in fact. With your invisible wife? My very real wife. Uh, let me just go... Oh, Guybrush, no. That's an awful idea. Uh, okay, I can already see where this is going. Hello, honey, wake up. Morgan and present her to Decava as my fake wife. My, that reminds me of the time when... Now, Winslow, Decava's crazy. Very well. I'm well trained in naval first aid. Do what I say. First things first. Take her pulse and see if she's alive. What? She might be dead? You never know about these things. Her wrist kept her. She's not dead. She's fine. You can see her moving. All right, well, take her wrist. Very good. Her pulse is strong. What's this? A tattoo of the name Gus. This is for Chugbender. Hmm. Excellent. She's alive and kicking. Which reminds me, next, remove any and all weapons from the victim. We don't want her thrashing about and lopping off any more appendages. Hey, that's a good idea. Good Let's thing. take the sword. Alright, I've got her sword. It's engraved with a name. Dante Dragota. Ooh, he sounds tough. Gomez, not on the carpet. Now, elevate her feet to help with circulation. Got it. Mm-hmm. Elevating her feet. Well, what's this? An assassin's ledger. Fascinating. Who knew bounty hunters were so meticulous? Uh, let's see. To do. Free personal. So, anything for Gustavo is free. Prince, 10,000. New ship, minus 10,000. Lunch. Gideon Gimpleg. Funeral payment to the Nuni. And then Guybrush Three puts on the thing for... God only knows how much. She still hasn't come round. A most curious case. If only we had smelling salts, that would do the trick. Mm-hmm. 
She still has Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Smelling salts, huh? Ooh, a grub. Ew, a slimy grub. I don't suppose. Come on. That's no way to wake her up. Yeah, no. Okay. Alright, apparently I gotta go see if I can find some smelling salts. Hey, Decava. Get mm. away from me, or I'll kill you! You don't sail another man's ship simply because he left it in the harbor? Okay. Um. Hey, Decava. Oh. Get no, no, no. Alright, guess I can't go that way. Can I play with the cannon? Firewall's cannon. While it lacks firepower, it does look scary. I can look at it. Mm. Hmm. The Narwhal's cannon. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The Narwhal's quarters. They're resplendent. Well, I'm on the ship, but... Really not much to see here. Here's the rubber mast. Oh. Station passage. Hmm. Hey, a cochlea. While it may look like it's full of candy, I believe the cochlea is key to this manatee's sense of direction. Hmm. A wound? I've seen my fair share of flesh wounds, and this one is world class. Ooh. Looks like it's missing a cochlea. Cochlea or inner ear. Hmm. I may have gone to public school, but I think those are supposed to come in pairs. Well, that's a problem. Manatee earwax. Rotten and pungent. Perfect. Alright, well, not my first uh, choice, but that'll help. Uh, let's see, get off the ship. Ooh, I almost forgot. My pyrite parrot. I never leave home without it. It must have been jostled out of my pockets and washed away during ingestion. It's gone forever. Oh, that's a shame. I lost my, uh, pyrite parrot. Oh, well. Alright, wake up, Morgan. Guybrush? Oopsie daisy, moan adversaire. That'll teach you to take a legendary pirate at sword point. You lost your weapon privileges. Ugh. Where are we? We've been swallowed by a giant manatee, and you're about to pose as my fake wife in order to placate a puzzle-obsessed whack job. Oh, no, I'm not. As much as I'd love to play house with the Guybrush Threefoot, I'm already late getting you back to Flotsam Island. Listen here, you poor excuse for a pissy privateer. Any more than better you, and the captain will be sending your carcass on a tour of the small intestine. <laughs> I guess we call this the good pirate, bad pirate routine. Oh, my. <clears throat> I'm terribly sorry. Nope. I think I ought to rest for a spell. Must have taken a mouthful of something vile on the way down. <laughs> See? That's the pox. It turns people into whatever that was, and it's in the process of ravaging the entire Caribbean. Even Elaine. Okay, fine. But you have to do something for me. What? What is it? Will you sign this for me? Two seconds ago, you were ready to slit my throat, and now you want to hang me in your locker? I was just doing my job. Give it here. Now, let's go deal with Kuki Coronado de Caba. You're my make-believe wife, so just act like it. Yeah, it'll be the best day of your wife, Morgan. Well, well, well. The panty-waisted pirate wannabe has found himself a lady. Coronado, I'd like to introduce you to my wife. Morgan. Right. So, as you can see, there is no way I could be romantically affiliated with the voodoo lady. I am a one-woman man. Sure you are, lover boy. If you two are really just wed, you don't mind answering a few questions? Do your worst. I appreciate the enthusiasm, but easy, girl. Together now. How did you meet? Uh... 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 What the freak? We met through work. We met through we met work. Through work. Hmm. Where did you go on your first date? Uh, uh, we went sailing. 
we, we went, went sailing. sailing. All right, that's enough. You believe us? Almost. Almost? What do I have to do to prove to you that I'm not your rival for the voodoo lady? Just take a step forward. Okay. Both of you. Now, let's get down to brass barnacles. Ah. Well, this stinks. I have asked you both a series of personal questions, the answers of which are recorded here on these cards. Mr. Threepwood, you'll be happy to know that your wife has passed with flying colors. She seems to know every single detail of your life. You don't say. Now <laughs> is your turn. Let's see what you know about Mrs. Threepwood. Answer three in a row correctly, and I'll believe you are honeymooners. Incorrectly. And it's the bowels of the beast for both of you. Question number one. She was recently affected by the death of someone very close to her. Uncle Quack. Uh, let's see. What's this? A tattoo of the name Gus. No, that's not what I wanted to remember. Uh, let's see. Remember her... Not her list, her first mumble. This is for Chuck Bender. Choose an answer. Uncle... Jugbender. Jugbender. Correct. But how? Question number two. What was the name of her favorite pet? Uh, let's see. That one was second mumble. Gomez. Not on the carpet. Oh, choose an answer. Right. That was Gomez. Gomez. Correct. No way. Impressive, huh? The third and final question. She is quite a skilled fighter. Who trained her in the ways of combat? Uh, remembering the sword. I think I already know this one. That's Dante Dragota. Dante Dragota. Correct. Well, perhaps I was mistaken. You two might be married after all. No, it's all right. If a guy turns up in a manatee with your girlfriend's locket, a man has a right to ask a question or two. Now, about this sponge. The one you're not after. We're just sightseeing, right, honey? That's right, Pookie Pie. Well, perhaps you would like to join my crew. It could make a romantic tale for your honeymoon scrapbook. I'd love to join your crew. I'm Gaga for scrapbooking. We'll find La Esponja Grande in no time. Magnifico! What's next? A stool sample? No, you look like a man of fair constitution. Now, any questions? <laughs> Um, eh, that funny joke. Um, it's uh, too bad that those are the first, like, uh, you could get those first three questions right, like, really quickly, because I think that, like, he asks you another question, uh, if you get one of them wrong, and one of them's like, who's your favorite person ever, and it's Guybrush Threepwood. Uh, let's see. Questions. What's the deal with the mating grounds? The sacred manatee mating grounds. It's the home of La Esponja Grande. That's correct. Ah. Okay. Where's the rest of the crew? You have a crew? <laughs> Are you counting your mood swings as members? I set out from Flotsam Island all those years ago with four other brave souls, all of whom were to play a special role in finding La Esponja. I may have been a stern leader, but I love them like sons. Were you forced to eat them? I would have rather starved than see harm befall them. Alas, they perished in the belly of the beast long ago. Torturous demise. Oh, sorry about that. Sometimes I can still hear their screams. Hmm. <laughs> uh, I heard that just now. When are we due to arrive? Wifey is uh, getting antsy. Ah, well, I'm afraid the manatee has been lost for some time now. Lost? He's not a eunuch, is he? His plumbing is still in working order, but his internal <laughs> compass is another matter. How can you tell? Around and around he go. I have deduced that the problem lies within the manatee's inner ear. So I'm crafting him a new one. That explains the spinning. How are you building an inner ear? I am weaving the husks of manatee throat grubs into a new cochlea for the beast. It's the only way. If you could bring me some, we'll save precious time. I'm on it. 
it looks like all we have to do is skin a few manatee throat grubs for the old man, and then build a giant synthetic cochlea to replace the missing one up in the ear canal, and we'll be on our way. Or you could give me my sword, and I can just cut our way out of here. I'm not letting you slice this poor fella open. Manatees are gentle giants. Guybrush? Back off, Susie Slicer. Easy. Whoa! Morgan. Ugh. Okay. Prologue's over. For the push. I'd never seen an epiglottis before. What? Drink! I think we just found Dakava's crew. What say you, digested scum? Hmm. <laughs> Remember what I said about uh, subtitles in the word scum? Hmm. <laughs> Who are you calling scum, Geppetto? You! Mm. Welcome to paradise! Paradise? The land of ever-flowing relaxation, soothing tunes, and all the i you can stomach. Ew. What brings you down here? Just looking for your run-of-the-mill manatee, Cochlea. Hey, we've got- That's yeah. enough! I'm sorry. I don't know what you're talking about. And if I did, that would be a secret of the Brotherhood. The Brotherhood? The democratically united Brotherhood of the Manatee Interior. United we stand, together we part. And you guys just live down here? You mean live it up? It's our own little slice of heaven. Feel free to stay. But please, don't rock the manatee. Hmm. Well, the plan. You charge Johnny Cirrhosis over there, and I'll jump the leader and eviscerate his vitals. The square playing the bongos shouldn't be a problem for either of us. Whoever gets to him first scores the kill. Personally, I'll be going for his throat. He looks like a biter. I don't think that's a good idea. You're right. I'll keep my distance and shoot for an artery. No, no, I mean, we can't just slaughter these guys. The voodoo lady possessed Dakava and said they were necessary to getting the sponge. Well, what's your plan? I'm going to go talk to them. Talk? Mighty pirates don't talk. We don't have time to talk. Mo, oh, sweetheart, this is what I do. So just sit back, relax, and let Guybrush Threepwood take care of things. Go relace your corset or shine your pauldron or what have you. Fine. But don't come running to me when negotiations fail. Oh, they won't fail. First of all, though, I'd like to go back up. So, I have a grub. Splendid! You found a manatee throat grub! Let's build a cochlea. That's the plan! Only 99,999 left. Uh, come again? Each grub yields such a small amount of usable husk, by calculations I'll need another 100,000. <laughs> right. This is no laughing matter, Three Willow. We don't have time to collect that many grubs. On the contrary, time is all we do have. Rest assured, it will all pay off in the end. This is bananas. New plan. Find the actual cochlea. Okay, well, that's not going to do anything. Um, I gave him the locket, right? Hiya, Chief. Yes, crewman. Um, funny thing about your crew. About your crew. Oh, my crew. Say no more. I don't want to get emotional in front of a new crew member. Oh, other cries haunt my dreams. Um. What you doing? What you doing? I'm working on the replacement inner ear, and you should be finding me my materials. Great. Grubs. Okay, well. All right then. Take care. Guess there's nothing left to learn up here. Let's go back down, I suppose. Sounds like we got a big lump of work to do downstairs. Is 
Skeletal yeah, Pirate. Hmm, okay. Strong, silent type, huh? Guybrush Threepwood is the mightiest pirate in all the Caribbean, and LeChuck is a pansy. Say nothing if you agree. <laughs> all right. Catch you later. Don't work too hard. Hmm. What say you, sir? Hi there. Guybrush Threepwood. Hola. I'm Moose. And that's my boy, Santino. He has a name? Uh, yeah. It's more of a moniker. Like the Santino. He's the coolest cat I've ever known. Ah, right on, dude. Can I interest you in a beverage? That's quite the straw. Sometimes you just want a quick rush of i -Corp. This baby does the trick. I really shouldn't. All right, man. But that means you gotta double up next time. Fair enough. <sighs> okay, is there lead in your drink? What is this is stuff? a substantial amount of lead in your drink? Nah, man. This is pure, unfiltered i -Corp. I got hooked on this stuff when we landed down here. You're drinking it. You better believe it. And it flows in abundance, my friend. I need to look this up. I don't think I ever did. Tell me about i -Corp. What sort of varietals does it come in? Any favorite vintages? Three years ago was a solid year. Potent stuff. This here is the orange. I dig it. It's got a bubbly effervescence with a tangy palate. Watch out for the yellow stuff you see in the pools, though, man. The stuff will peel the shell off a Nautilus. Yeah. Watery discharge from a wound? Greek mythology, fluid that flows like blood in the veins of the gods. Ethereal fluid that is in the blood of gods and morals. Okay, I don't want to look this up anymore. Let's see. Um, what's with the funnel? What's with the funnel? That's Jumbo Jimbo, my custom drinking apparatus. I break it out for special occasions. Like lunchtime? It's important to celebrate life, brah. Okay. Propose a toast. toast. It's a special occasion. Righteous. What's the occasion? Uh... <laughs> Dia de los Muertos. Dia de los Muertos. Okay, I can make him drink when I feel like it. Don't know how that's gonna help me. Hello, Bongo oh, guy. There. Oh, hi. You're in charge of the humans, huh? I just like to play. It relaxes me. I can relate. I went through a Malpark phase. I'm Guybrush Threepwood, Mighty Pirate. I'm Nugi. What's your pretty girlfriend's name? Oh, she's not really my girlfriend. Her name's Morgan LaFlay. Why, you think she's hot stuff? Well, yeah. She'd chew you up like a pinky finger in a piranha pool. <laughs> awesome. Okay, dude, you've got problems. I've been thinking I'd like to join your group. Oh, well, Bug Eye generally handles administrative matters. You should talk to him. Bug Eye, huh? You enjoy it down here? Oh, yes. I would have never been able to abandon Coronado to Cava. But once we split, I realized what I'd been missing. I'll never work for another tyrant again. Democracy makes life worth living. It gives me a voice. The humidity doesn't get to you? You adjust to it. Mm-hmm. And the cochlea? You seem like a stand-up sort of guy. Tell me about the missing cochlea. Never. I made a promise of brotherhood with these men, and I'll never break it. It's a secret for brothers only. Okay, it's starting to sound like they have the cochlea, and they don't want to separate with it. I like the beat. How about something a little more up-tempo? Like this? I dig it. Hmm. Interesting. So when he plays fast, that gives him acid reflux or something. What's this do? Hmm. Well, I can just look at it. Okay. Man, a lot of treasure down here. And it seems like he can't play that fast for very long. Piles of fabulous treasure. But what I need is a voodoo sucking sponge. Right. Treasure chest. Wait, what? It's locked. 
Did that treasure chest just talk to me? Hmm. A painting? The plaque reads, Fish Eyes Alabaster, anarcho-socialist pirate philosopher. One day I hope my portrait has such a fancy plaque. Soiled and forgotten in the bowels of a manatee. What? Well, that's not gonna work. Hmm. Guess I can use these, but sounds like one of them's jammed. Yeah, I can use this to get from place to place. Good to know. So I'm already beginning to understand the mechanics of this place. But there's a lot more work to do, and I think we should stop here. Thank you, everybody, so much for watching. Make sure you check out the rest of the videos on the GSL YouTube channel. Check out officialytr.com slash forums for more fun. And myself at twitch.tv slash chaos control channel. And I'll see you next week for more Tales of Monkey Island. So take care. Bye-bye.